tonight. From Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Well, it may be a bit soggy, but that certainly hasn't deterred this fan base. A great crowd on hand to battle the raindrops at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. The Titans kicker Steven Gaskowski ready to do the honors, and we are underway in Nashville. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And, partner, when you hear about a 6'5", 235-240-pound quarterback, you don't often think of him being overlooked coming out of high school, do you? That's exactly what happened to Josh Allen. Overlooked, end up going to a junior college, Reedley Community College out in California, before matriculating to the University of Wyoming, and the Cowboys were so glad to get him. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. They'll roll him out right. He'll, and oh, right away, he lost the football. And that might be Titan football. It is. Allen on the keeper. The Titans set to take over behind their quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. And so often when you've stolen a possession, as they just did there on the first play, first play of picking up the fumble, the natural inclination is to attack and go after them big. Sometimes what you just want to do is put the ball in the hands of one of your best players in one of their favorite plays and establish your dominance that way. Following the fumble recovery, Tannehill. And his throw is incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. And it's second down. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Looking sideline incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Here's Tannehill. 
And right side, Henry's got it. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. On fourth down, here's Steven Goskowski for the Tennessee field goal. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. Bills nothing. It'll continue to be interesting in these wet conditions how these kickers fare, but first test, passed. And how about how the special teams unit handled that? A lot of concentration to make sure the ball didn't slip through his fingers. After the snap, got it down and let him pop it through the posts. Koski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. Dances by him. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when okay. they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive? A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield and punch in the end zone without turning it over. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Hallett. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. To the air, Allen. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. And that's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Singletary here running out of the gun, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Allen going to give to Singletary on the option. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now, that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and handling a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs.
Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally brought down at the 38. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Oh, man. So that one will be accepted. Still first down. the gun it's Allen now that'll be tipped and intercepted picked off by the safety Kenny Vaccaro and he's able to get it back here to the 43 yard line well Brandon this is a former first round pick and he's been a bit of a disappointment in his career up till now but he's still got room to grow and this is an excellent play right here to come away with the football the Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. Well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 43. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And his throw here is incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Tannehill. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Running from the gun with Henry. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 yards there, first down. That's 
absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Derrick Henry. A gain of three, second down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Second and seven. Now Tannehill. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. That was just a good example of taking what the defense gave him. No one opened downfield, knew where his safety valve was, swung it out to him. He gets upfield and picks up the first down. Well done all the way around. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Look at this, a tight end carry. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. It's on the pickup. Second and six at the 11-yard line. Here's Tannehill, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. I have to give some credit to the defender on that one. He read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. The Titans on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. A 28-yard attempt. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. Bills nothing. So a dozen plays on that drive CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. At their own 35 yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. He'll buy some time right. He'll try and run it. 
Allen hit. He lost the football. Holding offense. Usually see those guys out wide get called for holding on running plays Still here, passing down. play. Yeah, sometimes we get this quick screen, bubble screen, anything where they're having to block for their fellow receiver, usually at the point of attack, and this time he got caught. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, and he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. They had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. Fl Under pressure again, and down he goes again. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Spinning past him. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans now just about ready to take over. And now the clock reads precisely one minute to go in the half. You want to run the one-minute offense? This is a good test right here. It certainly is, and definitely not a time to think about kneeling and going into the half. This is a chance to attack a little bit, but not having to get everything in one shot either. Ten yards here, 15 there. Work the sidelines, work the clock, give yourself a chance for at least a field goal going into the half. On first and ten, Tannehill. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Second and 10, once again from the 28. Out of the gun, Tannehill. He finds Corey Davis. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. Here's Tannehill. He finds Humphreys. 
And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Defense was expecting run and their delta pass of over 15 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On first down, it's Tannehill. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Ten more there and another first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. This one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. They'll spot him at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. Goskowski's kick is good, and that will make our score 9 to nothing. Bills nothing. So good work there to get points just before the half as they add on to their lead. As trite as it sounds, Every little bit helps. That's exactly what they're going for. Anytime you get a chance to put points on the board, you take it. And they didn't leave the other side with much time at all on the clock. So six seconds. All that remains of this first half is the kick is away. Andre Roberts now to return it. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Andre Roberts on the return. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 33-yard line. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Christian Fulton. And he will be brought down as time is now run out this first half of action. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports halftime report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. to continue as we are underway in the second half. Taken in at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Titans take over first and 10 
at their own 26 yards. Here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 26. He'll start with a give to Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. You typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On third down, Henry. Yeah, Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. He's on to punt for the first time tonight. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at about the 32. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. backwards now they'll come up on second and 12 working out of the shotgun here's Allen the left side caught by Diggs and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down a gain of 16 yards a first down Operating from the gun, Allen looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. This duo locked in, 14 yards there, and a first down. Intercepted for the third time. 
Picked off near the 34. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, leverage. Big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Tannehill. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Quentin Jefferson breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. So third and long after the sack, tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. Tannehill. Buying time to his left. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, Talk about throwing a wrench into the works. He certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. The Bills take over first and 10. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now where one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Singletary, the Bills ball carrier, brought down at the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Allen now looks to throw toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown, and it's third down. The struggles finding open receivers continue. I don't know the last time I saw this inconsistent throwing the football. It would be hard to find a date when he was this inconsistent. You know, in his locker, he keeps the word poise printed on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. He needs to find that poise right now. He certainly does. In fact, I would suggest he laminate it. 
And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. Now Allen, got to have this one. And he's able to find Diggs. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Throwing on first down is Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Allen's throw is complete, and he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Allen now on first down. Flush to his right. And yeah, he's going to keep it here. Oh, what a juke into space. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Being chased out, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Rashad Evans, the linebacker, recording the sack there. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. Sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Another try after the first down sack. Allen is going to find his running back. It's complete. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. Allen to throw. Time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football. He's taken down. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Now the 
Bills will hustle to the line. Back to throw. Allen. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Touchdown. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Extra point attempt here still to come. And they're back within a couple at 9-7 now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. So with just over a minute to play, this becomes a make or break onside kick. And the Titans are going to recover the football. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that one. They needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. down carry for Henry now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game six yards left on second down Again, it's Henry. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Tannehill. The open man is Smith. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. The Titans go victory formation as they take an E. Tannehill to a knee, and that ought to be the final act of this ball game. 
tonight's final score. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost felt like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.